tambourine. Uh, this is a typical concert uh, tambourine. It's a 10 inch diameter shell, has a head affixed to it. Generally it's a real uh, calfskin type head on it that's attached. Um, and then the jingles come in a variety of different metals and that's what gets all the different kinds of sounds you might hear from a triangle. I have a variety of tambourines uh, that look pretty much the same. The dimensions are the same, everything else is the same except for the composition of the jingles which makes a tremendous difference in the sound. Some of the tambourines will have jingles made of beryllium copper, some of them will have uh, German silver, some of them will have phosphor bronze, and then others are combinations of all those things or brass and so you can get quite a different array of sounds from the different composition of the jingles. Also if the jingles are hammered or not hammered that will, that will also have an impact on the sound. So this particular tambourine is pretty mainstream in sound and has the typical head attached and when I play this tambourine I'm going to hold it in such a way that I get the cleanest, most articulate sound out of the tambourine. So I'm going to turn this way so you can see my approach. I'm going to hold the tambourine at about a 45 degree angle so that my jingles are resting not only on the shell but also on the pins. And that way they basically stop making sound the quickest. They have a fast decay sound. That's what we want. I'm going to play the, the uh, head with my fingers kind of put together uh, in a stiff manner, like so. And there's quite a few uh, different approaches to playing the tambourine because tambourine is one of the oldest instruments in the history of all world cultures. If you go to virtually any country around the world, you're going to find some variation of the tambourine there in the Middle East, in South America, in Europe, uh, in the, in the uh, Orient, all different parts of the world, you're going to find some variation of the tambourine and all different kinds of approaches to playing it. For classical percussion, we have adopted a few basic techniques, one of which I just showed you. Um, often the tambourine has to be played very soft, in which case you would possibly set the tambourine on a flat surface um, and, and play it with your fingers. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I'm going to use a um, stool here to put my foot on. I'm going to put the tambourine on my leg. I'm going to secure it with my forearms and then I'm going to play the tambourine very lightly, very delicately, by just utilizing anywhere from one finger to four fingers in each hand. you can hear a defined difference in volume as I add fingers. I add more mass to the impact and of course that changes the volume somewhat there. Now when the tambourine uh, rhythms require very very rapid uh, rhythm, rhythmic passages, um, sometimes you have to go to extreme measures. So what we do then, if we have to play extremely loud and extremely fast and, and it can't be executed with one hand, we will then utilize a technique that requires using the knuckles and the kneecap. And we use this technique to play fast patterns. Okay, so the knuckles are a very important uh, component in playing the tambourine as well. If you have to play loud accents on the tambourine, you can use your knuckles as well. Rather than striking with the, with the tips of the fingers, you can get even more sound by using the knuckles. And um, there are two different ways of executing a roll on the tambourine. One of them is a thumb roll, where you create friction with the thumb on the drum head, like so. And then the other, the other way of doing it is what we call a shake roll, where we would take the tambourine and hold it. I'm going to go from soft to loud. I'm going to hold it like this and literally use a, what I would call a shivering motion to start the sound, just like if I was shivering. And then finish it off with a nice, sharp uh, knuckle accent there. 
So those are just some of the techniques that we use to play the tambourine. Uh, occasionally, the tambourine needs to be played uh, mounted. And so we use a variety of ways of mounting the tambourine. This is a, this is a kind of a, a relatively new uh, invention. This is a tambourine cradle. And what it allows me to do is to mount the tambourine so that I can now play it either right side up with a pair of mallets or a pair of sticks. So then I can quickly move to another instrument if I have a multiple instrument set up. And then move on. Uh, sometimes with, it will require drumsticks. By using drumsticks you get a little bit more of the head sound and a little bit less of the jingle sound. Some composers intentionally write and request for more of the, the head sound, which gives a little bit more of a tom-tom kind of tone, rather than just all jingle. So those are some of the advantages of being able to play the tambourine in a mounted fashion. So that's how we play the mounted tambourine. And that basically, in a nutshell, is how we play the tambourine. <laughs>